I've made a change to the coil. Um, L1, the outer coil, I have uh, wrapped additional turns now to make the inductance um, a lot larger uh, to create a tuned circuit uh, at, so that it will be at you know roughly uh, 1.52 megahertz um, which is in the AM band but last night I was hearing a huge amount of uh, um, EMR or perhaps PMR I'm not sure which resonant frequency there is there but basically a huge amount of um, uh, signal at this point on the band so I thought it would be interesting to tune the coil um, to that frequency. It is uh, the middle of the uh, day uh, when the sun's out banging on the earth and um, so it's not that frequency is not necessarily the same uh, during the day uh, something might happen tonight um, but um, uh, on this uh, channel, I have a radio station uh, that just happened to be this exact same frequency. Um, and I'm getting a nice strong voltage here. Uh, so let me explain this measurement a little bit. Um, so uh, the meter is uh, wired from the coil, uh, it sits between the coil and ground, so it is measuring the potential difference between what we're seeing at the coil and what we are seeing uh, at ground. Uh, so basically we're creating an AC uh, swing between the tank circuit here and ground, and that is the potential difference. Um, now, um, I have a, uh, an antenna here composed of aluminum plates. I have two of them drops even more. So um, the surface area of the antenna is uh, definitely contributing and this is a flat plate style antenna, you know, the kind of stuff that uh, Tesla would play with. Okay, they're both attached and now we have uh, 1.46 volts. If I were to measure the voltage between the antenna and the coil, which is what I was doing last night, um, the voltage is not as high because... Uh, so now, now you're bringing the coil down to um, um, closer to the ground and you're having the antenna be the thing with the higher potential on it. Um, that's a less favorable situation of having this coil capacitor uh, be moved up to the higher uh, moved up to the um, potentials of the uh, of the antenna that's out there, if that makes sense. Uh, so a few more comments here. Um, one is uh, this voltage is interesting, but really there's not a lot of current here. So if you were to put any sort of load on here. Um, you would be able to um, basically uh, create uh, power uh, appropriate for a mouse. Um, so it's so um, what you need is something else to happen. Um, now the, the other uh, observation that was really uh, making me scratch my head here is uh, the number of the formula for a cylindrical uh, inductor. Uh, involves the number of turns, the permeability of air, uh, the circumference, or I'm sorry, the um, length of the coil and the uh, diameter of the coil and so forth. Um, and when I do the math, it was it was all wrong on this coil. It was off by uh, uh, from five to ten, um, and so that means the permeability here is not of air. Um, and that makes sense because there's a diamagnetic material in here, a tinfoil. So the formula for a coil, for this type of coil, with diamagnetic material inside, is not correct. You have to account for the permeability that's inside here. Which means you have to do more turns, but you have a coil that is possibly nonlinear in terms of its inductance.
Uh, although I don't know that for a fact, somebody would have to study that.